Graham, we'll speak about the match in a bit more detail shortly, but let's speak about the decisive penalty firstly. Given against Rolling Man SA after 88 minutes, we've just watched it back via the side camera. It looks an incredibly harsh decision. That's just what's happening to us at this moment, Tom. Um, we shouldn't have been in that situation. We should have, uh, we should have the first one is, again is a basic error. Whether it's a refereeing error and an individual error from us, that's cost us the two goals. Errors, errors seems to be, um, seems to be costing us. And uh, until we eradicate them, um, we, we, we can't start talking about referees or performances or, or anything like that. There's too many basic errors. We're doing some daft things um, at some some vital times in games. That's a tour game that we've uh, we've been in front. That's a tour game that that uh, we've let slip. What do Stags need to do, therefore? Should they go ahead in future games? Well, we need to stop making basic errors. Um, silly, silly, silly daft errors. I don't know whether it's, uh, it's nervy, it's uptight, it's tension. Um, the, 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 there's an expectation level at this football club, the standards of this football club, and whether one or two, uh, one or two players find that um, very demanding or very, of, of, of too high a standard for them. They, uh, they, 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 seem to, uh, they seem to make silly errors at vital times in games. Were you satisfied with what you saw prior to Newport's equalising goal? How satisfied, how satisfied can you be when you get when you get sucker punched like that, when you get done like that, when you when you make an error, and then when the referee uh, makes an error, how satisfied can you be? Performances count for, for very little. It's results um, that, that that matter, and again we're on the wrong end of uh, we're on the wrong end of a result. You cut an even more frustrated figure than last Saturday. How can you pick not only yourself up now but the boys? Well, I want them to pick me up. I want them. The work we put in. The the. the the, the, what we do for the Monday to Friday, the, the, the work we put in, the effort we put in, um, not only me, but everybody at this football club, it's up to them now. It's up to them to pick us up, to pick us up as a football club. It's up to them as players to respond and react. And yes, I got a response today. Yes, I got a reaction today. But we didn't get the points. And that's, that's basically what we're in the business for. Apart from the errors, as you mentioned there, have you seen enough today on the whole to suggest that Mansfield Town can soon kickstart their season? Well, you're looking for a little bit of help from Lady Luck, as I say. You're looking for a, for a decision. You're looking for a break of the ball. But um, look, at the end of the day, I can go on about decisions and referees, and but that, that's not going to solve anything. That's not going to help us. The game is uh, the game is in a bad way uh, at this moment of time with rules and with referees and, and decisions. And we, we, we're just another football club today who fall victim to it. How did you think the slight change of shape looked on the whole, and in particular your new striking pair? It looked positive. It looked positive. It was, uh, and, and don't get me wrong. Look, at, keep it in context. There was a lot of positives. There was things to take from the game. But at this moment of time, um, all, all, I'm, all, I'm, all I'm seeing at this moment of time is the result. What's the what's at the top, Graham, of the priority list heading into next Saturday's game against Stevenage? Obviously, you've got a midweek game in the AFL Cup. What's the schedule looking like, and what's at the top of the agenda? Top of the agenda has to be to uh, to win a game of football because, like I say, and I say it on so many times, and, and, and I'm probably becoming a laughing stock at this moment of time. But I, I, I firmly believe when we win, we win a game, it'll give us massive amounts of confidence. Um, I got to look back, and I, I, I got to think. Uh, we, we've played Preston, we played Man City, and, and, and we conceded some goals. And whether that's an, uh, that's affected uh, the lads, I've got to look at their ages as well. But I, I ain't making excuses. We, we, we're making we're making one or two errors, and we are getting punished for. Every single decision, we are getting punished. We're, we're, we're in uh, good form, but we're in, uh, we're, we're in a bad place when it comes to luck and, and a break of the ball and, and a decision. And just a bit of housekeeping finally. Oli Clark had to go off late on. Looked like he may have picked up a knock. No, he just had a, had a bit of cramp. His, his, his calf cramped up, his, cra his calf tightened up. Um, and the last thing I want is, uh, is Ollie Clark um, pulling or, or tearing anything and, and missing him for longer than we need to. And just looking ahead to the Tuesday night game in the uh, EFL Trophy against Lincoln, what type of side will you be fielding there? Well, I want to win the game, so I'll be, I'll be feeling as strong as possible. Graham, commiserations.